Here are the top news headlines for the day. Prime Minister Shinarindra Modi launched a Jal Shakti Abhiyan Catch the Rain campaign on World Water Day today. The campaign will be undertaken across the country in both rural and urban areas with the theme Catch the Rain where it falls when it falls. It will be implemented from 22nd of March to 30th of November 2021, the pre-monsoon and monsoon period in the country. It is intended to nudge all stakeholders to create rainwater harvesting structures suitable to the climatic conditions and subsoil strata to ensure proper storage of rainwater. India's massive evacuation program triggered by the COVID-19 pandemic, One Day Bharat Mission has brought back over 67.7 lakh people from abroad. India had commenced one of the world's largest evacuation operations from the 7th of May 2020 to bring back its stranded citizens from abroad. Initially, Air India and its subsidiary Air India Express played a key role in the operations. Later on, other carriers were also allowed to take part in the program. Besides aerial evacuation, even naval ships were used to bring back Indian citizens. At the Global Jubilee Discourse Series of the Department of Science and Technology, the Secretary of the Department of Space, Dr. K. Sivan, underlined that liberalizing geospatial data policy will benefit every sector and reach these benefits to every nook and corner of the country. The overall impact of liberalization of geospatial policy on the economy would be enormous and apart from creating one lakh crore economy in geospatial sectors, there would be an indirect impact on various other sectors leading to the creation of millions of jobs in various sectors in the future. He also added that space-based remote sensing policy along with liberalized geospatial policy is going to do wonders for the country, bringing new avenues and would play a great role in making the country Atmanirbhar.